it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Relaxing is one of the finest forms of art I know. It brings us ease, but yet again, it's one of the most difficult things to do. Today, I wanna to show you my summer night routine and it's gonna be relaxing. Let's ditch the productivity for once and let's just find peace and calmness in the later hours of the day. Today, I went to the gym in the late afternoon. Some days I go in the morning, but lately I find myself enjoying my later sessions more than my early ones. Once I get back home, I get in some snuggles for my dog and then I try to semi-arrive at home and prepare my dog's dinner. While she eats, I just sit down and relax, but as soon as she's done, we are heading out the door for an evening walk. With or without a dog, taking a walk in the evening hours is one of my most favorite things out there. Especially when you had a rough day. Just going out, moving your body in its most natural and gentle form, listening to a podcast, calling a friend, or just enjoying the stillness of nature on your own. It brings me inner peace. Once I get back home, my night can fully begin and it's time to prepare dinner. I have nights where I cannot be bothered with cooking and I do order in, but I have to admit cooking to me is therapeutic. I love trying out new recipes. I love to dedicate my time to just creating food and something that tastes phenomenal whilst listening to either smooth jazz or old school Taylor Swift. And yes, there's no in between. Cooking is my me time. And I'm kind of sad that often I'm not willing to invest time into it, but whenever I do, I end up having the best night ever. Dinner is my main course of the day because partly I don't have time for big meals during the day as I'm busy with school and partly because I was raised like that. Dinner was our family meal, the time where everyone got home starving, craving something nice to eat and reaching out to start conversations. Sitting down at the dinner table is a family tradition of mine, which I'm trying to install now that I have my own home. But yeah, some nights I end up eating in front of my TV, sitting on the floor, it's called balance. Having a nice environment for dinner, or my whole night in general, is important to me. Which is why I like to light some candles, my fairy lights, turn on the diffuser, and listening to music I enjoy. On tonight's menu were fajita bowls, which is such a nice and easy lightweight summer recipe. Not that summertime meals always have to be lightweight, but you know, it just hits different when it's fresh. I just marinated some chicken, cooked some rice, and whilst I was setting the table, Malik prepped some veggies, some lettuce, and grilled the chicken. Once we get to sit down, we just talk about our days, our thoughts, about nothing and everything all at once. It is the most ordinary thing in the world, but it does mean something to me. Self-care is important. If you have been here for a while, you already know that I put self-care over everything. A lot of people talk about it, and that's great. You cannot ever hear too much about the importance of self-care. Now hear me out. I know a lot of people don't like baths, and I completely get the reasoning behind, but whenever I fully want to end my day on a top-notch relaxed note, I take a bath with oils, with salts, with bubbles, all with a bath bomb. This is not the usual, cleaning myself is, but most days it's just a shower. But for that special mm, feeling, a bath to me is superior. I also make sure to fully cleanse my skin before heading into my bath because my skincare routine to me is such an essential part of my night. I 
have been raised to fully enjoy my nights. My mom is a night owl, she loves nighttime, and because she was working during the entire day, I only really saw her at night, which is why nighttime became my quality time. I love sleep and I hate feeling tired, which is why, you know, you have to go to bed early, but somehow I love night so much, I don't actually want to end them, if that makes any sense. It's quiet, it's peaceful, it's the end of a day, and just like with movies, the end usually always is the best part. I don't always really work at night, but most days, after finishing all my self-care routine, I will do a quick catch-up with my socials. That's just part of my job, and I honestly love reading your messages or your comments on here, and it does not go unnoticed, and it has somewhat established itself as part of my nighttime routine. I love a clean house. A clean house means a clean headspace. When I end the day, I want two things to be clean before heading into bed, myself and my kitchen. I know some people like to push off the cleaning part onto the next morning and I don't judge, I get it. But personally, I love going to bed knowing everything's clean and tidy and I do not have to get up 10 minutes early just to clean up the kitchen. Once everything feels clean, I go into the bathroom and I prep my hair for overnight as I said, I love sleep, and I love waking up and being ready to go, and overnight heatless curls are the way to do that. I end my days with a good book. Recently, I have been trying to push myself outside of my comfort zone. I am much more of a rom-com novel type of girly, but lately, I've been reading self-growth books and where reading them doesn't come to me as easily as it does with my rom-com novels, I still very much enjoy those 15 to 30 minutes of time to unwind and slowly shut down my train of thoughts. Yes, I do watch Netflix at night, but right before bedtime, I usually try to stick to books because it's easier to calm down your thoughts. And that's it. That's a typical night in my life. The night before sets the day ahead, so don't underestimate the power your night routine holds. Yes, a morning routine is a productive start into the day, but without a relaxing night before, this will not be possible.